Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. In the last one, we ended up getting a ZGS, which is an insane escape, Staff of the Dead, Ava's Assembler, a bunch of good items that can help us in the Inferno grind. However, there is one thing missing, and that is Rigor. So today, we're gonna try to get as close to that as possible. I have no idea if it's gonna happen or not, but we're gonna try our best, so let's get into it. For now, we're gonna do a, a little bit of battles, because it is that time of the day, and we're gonna run with Precision, Feral Fight, and formidable fighter giving me absolutely ridiculous accuracy bonus battles items are pretty expensive right now and we want to complete 100 chests in total anyways we start off the daily battles session with a little bit of nothing let's get it all right here we go here we go one for the boys it's trash let's take a look again we don't get anything good luck us bang that is complete disaster Really? This guy's going for us. And this guy's a bot, I guess. Unlucky. Okay, so this fountain should be able to charge all my jewelry. There it is. It's beautiful. So we're basically in the process of where stuff is finally buying for quite a lot of money to where I could upgrade my jewelry box so I don't need to use my rings of returning permanently. So that's basically what we're doing right now. We're just setting up for that moment. This is pretty expensive. Each one of these is like 60k. Each one of these is like 60k. But this is something I want to do because it will just allow me to teleport everywhere in the game. And that is usually useful in Deadman mode. Plus money is not that hard to come by. So here's the fancy jewelry box upgrade. Also the gold leaf was like 200k as well. And now I have all these other areas that I can go to. Warriors Guild, Champs Guild, Monastery Ranging Guild, Farming Guild, Woodcutting Guild. Like I can go everywhere in the game, which is useful. You know, definitely useful. Even Mining Guild, Crafting Guild, whatever you name it. Very solid. And now let's do the last upgrade. Ah, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. There we go. That's the last thing we needed. Okay, and lastly, we can now upgrade this and make it an ornate jewelry box, which is absolutely phenomenal. We can now teleport menu and go to the grand exchange. Good luck us. Nothing in this one. But we do get uh, Barrow's champion, which is, I guess, completing 25 chests, probably. So here we go. Good luck us. Nothing. Another one. No. This one is the one I'm feeling. You know when you have a good feeling about it? Watch this. Hey, see? Good feeling always works. Thorax plate legs. That's a nice over 1 million tank legs go for right now. So that is a solid drop right there. Shit. That would be that would be good if it happened, but it didn't. Unlucky. So today is like a day where I'm actually feeling like doing barrows more than usual days. So I'm probably gonna do more than 10 a day today. Here we go. Here we go. Big 30. Oh. And now we're gonna get another one. <clears throat> that would be kind of nice. Surely we get it here, right? 32 KC. Nothing special. Darok Helm. There is no Darok Helm present, unfortunately. Another one. 34, nothing. One... A little bit annoying, but I think we're okay. I could bring a range weapon for this, but yeah. Alright, we're on a farmer duty. Every time we get hit, I tend to just jump out and do some other activities for a bit to make sure the PKRs get a little bit bored. Here's the apple tree. 11,000, we're up to 53. We really just need to get this to 55 so I can start doing what I actually want to do. Uh, but that is a nice start. Okay, hey, the plan is simple. We do barrows until we get an item and then we do something else. So let's see if we get an item straight away. <laughs> Do we count it? It's a Verax flail. Um, I mean, maybe we do one more. Maybe we do one more. Right, we go crazy on this one. Watch this. Back to back situation. Didn't work. Okay, surely. Ooh. Do we go till 40? Do we do two more? We go till 40, I guess. Okay, here we go. Niente. There we go. Big 40. Uh, not the best. Do we do a bit more? Why am I in a Barrow's mood today? I'm not usually in a Barrow's mood, but today is just a Barrow's type of day, I feel like. But for me, it's like a double-edged sword. My name can either mean that somebody instantly focuses me, or that somebody actually lets me, lets me through. It goes both ways. 
But here we go. We didn't stop. We go for more. We didn't get anything. There's no shot, right? <laughs> Smart man. Smart businessman. I panicked kind of hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> Holy fuck. I could have ended badly, by the way. If you are... I, I didn't even know what, what hit me there for a sec. Not gonna lie. That's a genius move, though. That's a good move. That's a good move. Whew. We're trying to do some combat achievement diaries right now. And one is to kill this guy with only spec attacks. So let's see if we hit enough. If this hits, we should be good. Okay, so this actually gives decent points. I think it should. I already updated it. So stuff like that I need to actually look into when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing this to try and do all the tasks. Nope. Okay, so the next few things we gotta do is we gotta do the Can Touch Me, which is kill Darug, Verak, Torak, Gothen without letting them attack you. And we gotta do the Faithless run, uh, meaning we have to do all of it with zero prayer points. Yeah, listen guys, sometimes you have to admit that you were wrong, okay? Whip, whip was not it. We <laughs> Whip was not it. This is the vibe right now, let me tell you. What do we have cooking today? <gasps> 7 mil, this is the best drop by the way. This is the best drop you can get. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely, yes. This is the best one, the most expensive one. Oh, huge. Absolutely huge. 43 kill count is, uh, is where we get blessed with a really good item. Here we go. And we get the Zamorak Crozier. That is, <laughs> that is very useless, let me tell you. That is absolutely trash. Let's see. <gasps> hey! Hey yo! 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 Hey yo! Little fashion scape situation out here. Little gilded scimitar. And light infinity color kit. I don't even know how much that is. Look at us though. Boom! Gilded scimitar. It's wonderful. It's golden. So what you need to do is this and then run and then freeze. Like this and then I need to kill it from distance. And I need to do this for every single brother, basically. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so that is two. Oh, I think, think I didn't change my sigil. I'm pretty sure I still have the Bloodhound sigil. And that should be the last one if I don't mess it up here. Now nah, I got hit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. I, I see VA, but we need to do it again. Why is he in the tunnel here, man? Now back to back. Oi! Achievement? I didn't get hit. Where's my achievement, bro? What? Maybe I need to loot the chest first. Ah, there it is. I got an achievement now. Okay, okay, okay. We good, we good, we good. We got it. 45 KC, breach in 20 minutes. Let's try to do one more. I'm zero prayer. That's what I need to be. Let's see if I can go here. We're just gonna play it. Giga safe. So I just cannot recharge my prayer points for this run. And we are streaming, so I could get like Giga sniped. But that's why I have a Phoenix necklace. So basically we're gonna do the same thing that we just did, but again. Okay, and we basically just can't recharge our prayer. There we go. And if I loot it, that should be the last combat achievement completed. There it is, it worked, everything is good. If I were to look at bosses and barrows... It appears that all of them are completed, which is basically what I want to do. Every time I do content on DMM, I want to make sure I complete as many of these as possible. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. I'll go for this. We got Trinket and Emblem. Let's get it immediately. So because I forgot a few things, we're just going to bank off the bat here. Oh, PK on me. So we put this up, this up. Let's see if he stays. So we eat this up. We entity hide it away. See, I think this is a big problem, right, in DMM. I cannot see who is hitting me at all. And if I cannot see who's hitting me, I think that's a problem. And it's this absolute unit here in, in Mystics. I mean...
sit, you noob. And that's why you bring the ZGS, you know, because it does the fucking job, let me tell you. And we go again. I mean, is he just gonna jump me again? I mean, I hope I don't get jumped perma. But that's why I brought combo food into necklace so I can really like tank uh, stuff like that because that will happen and you won't see who's hitting you and you have to pray like one prayer and just eat through it. That's like your best bet. Now oh, we got an emblem. I think I'm gonna bank it honestly. It's a bit too risky having being all the way out here with like no food. Oh another emblem. Nice. I'm not gonna overstay my welcome. All right, let's dip. Okay, so in conclusion, 9 p.m. breach is that it. It's always the worst breach, but we got like what few trinkets and no PP drop, so not the best. It is what it is. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. It's fine. Breach was uh, whatever. Let's see what we get. Tank body goes for like 500k. So basically, the tier list of the items that you want to get from Barrows is on very top. You have Arims and Karils. So Arim top, Arim bot, and Karil top. Those are your best ones. Then you have the one tier below that is the tank helm and tank legs. One tier below that is the tank body, which is what we just got. And then the worst is uh, all the weapons and like Karil coifs and stuff like that. Those are pretty bad. Which one's closer? I think this one's closer. I'll go to this one because I know. He's gonna VLS me here on the unfreeze. Everybody always does it. Go down once, go up, down once again. Dab, he can't kill me. That's how you escape a PK in Barros. Like, you just need to outmaneuver them mentally, okay? But nice attempt, nice attempt. He tried his best. I had a better gaming chair. Ah, now this is a cool time when the U3 grows and you can check health, get the XP, but most importantly, you now have a good AFK thing to train where with every single chop you get 5 U-Longs to the bank and you can start making some passive money whilst AFKing a 99. Alright, my AFK session is drawing to a close, meaning that we actually ended up chopping almost a thousand U-Longs, which will turn to decent money and this was very quick like very quick this will add up like i kind of want to do this on my other account as well and just chop logs permanently because it's really good money as i said you get five logs per chop it's crazy yeah, i think i'm gonna run a dk strip right now uh the rings are going for a lot i will most likely die we'll try to make it so i don't risk too much and we'll see how it goes are you here by the way i'm waiting for you in front of the cave oh i don't have player indicators on that's scary there we go Okay, so I can try tanking the first one. So let me go down first and then you follow, okay? Yeah, you can come. It's safe. I need to tank the other guy as well. I think that does one. Yeah, I got one done. Yeah, it does both. It does both. Yeah, we definitely come in tribal. Just come up, come up, come up. This is useless. Oh my god, there's people here. You can't make this up. Oh, we're gonna die immediately. I think so, yeah. I got out, by the way. Don't know how, but yeah, this is sketchy as fuck. Wait, really? Did they stop following you? Bro, they were going for me, and I got out. <laughs> Just deep, bro. Deep for not doing that. I got out, bro. I'm good. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, we can't do that. But that's like, how did we both, bro, how did we both survive a full clan of me? <laughs> I, I mean, I think they saw my name, so you were dipping for free, and then they were, they were so lost. I was just up, down, up, down, and spamming teleport, and I got out. Okay, we are going in again. This time, with a lot different gear, a lot more Barrows gear. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, so we're on wave 64 and I've used zero brews so far. One, two, three, four, five restores. Seems like I have good supplies. We'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, made it to triple giants. Supplies are looking beautiful. Let's see how it goes. There it is. Supplies are looking great. I don't know if I'm good enough to do it or not, but definitely much better than with full void. So here's the attempt. I'm gonna quickly do a little bit of research and get right into it. I just hope I hit good at the beginning. That's the, that's the most important part, then I can skip two sets, if not we just do two sets. I might just do both sets. I think it's gonna be better for me. So I can't get surprised. Okay, the hits are not that great, so I might wait for a set. I just hope I'm not doing a mistake here by waiting. And my shield like dying or something. Because maybe I had good damage and I'm just unaware. Now I just need to get it under 600. Not a lot of stamina though. There is no way I don't make this because of stamina problems. Just don't noodle now bro, we are on the home stretch. Whatever you do, don't noodle. Just don't noodle buddy. Just don't noodle, whatever you do, don't noodle, let's get it! Yes, dude! Oh my god, I almost tipped it without Infernal Cape. Oh my god, I fucking have it. Dude, let's go, man! Breaches in one minute! I have Infernal Cape! No fucking way, man! You guys don't understand how happy that makes me. And now, I get to maybe catch the... <laughs> Let me parchment it quick, there's literally Breach in one minute and I got it! Yes, man! I got it, dude, let's go. Alka did one as well, so it's a sketchy one. Well, first I'm gonna go repair my gear and not risk it, so I'm gonna be a little bit late to this one. There we go. Our bridge gear is kinda crazy now. I have imbued Berserker Ring, Infernal Cape, Fury, D-Boots. We're chilling. Trinket immediately. Absolutely immediately. Okay, so I said I was gonna quickly speak why Infernal is such a hard topic for me and uh, the reason for that is on main game I at some point hit a rock where I would make it to the Zuck every single time I would make it past the healers every single time and there were so many moments where I died with Zuck being 80 HP, 40 HP, 3 HP, 1 HP the silliest mistakes but also extremely unlucky and it was at that time that I basically, I literally quit RuneScape because I was so burned after so many, att many attempts and I was so unlucky, I could not get the cape. And basically I took a very long break and then when I came back, very first attempt, I immediately got my cape. The idea is there, I uh, have burnt out before 
from trying to complete the cape and not being able to do it. And uh, now that I did it, uh, obviously on Deadman mode it is easier, but I'm just happy. I'm just happy we have it. And, and it's late and I'm sleep deprived, but it's fine. Just happy we have it. Another one, yes. Nice. Another emblem, another trinket. That's it. Oof. What a run, boys. What a run. I'm gonna be super quiet now. It is uh, sleep time. And we're gonna just quickly open these two weaponries. First for a scythe, that's good. Second for Twisted Bow, that's Ned. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go sleep right now. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be the best sleep I will ever have. Good night, fellas.